in this coronavirus pandemic, 122 million, which is 12 crores, people lost their jobs. If you, or someone you know is one of them, or you are afraid that you may also lose your job in the future, then this video is for you. Hi viewers my name is Rahul, and welcome to your own channel, Data is Everything. Friends, before starting which businesses will do good in the future, we should also know that in which business, this coronavirus pandemic causing problems. So that people associated with that business should be careful and prepare beforehand. We do not want to scare anyone, but we wish that whoever is in this business can already have a futuristic approach to the market. Friends, before starting the video, you must like our channel so that you do not miss any informative video in the future. So let's start our today's topic. According to the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, in April and May 122 million people, which is more than 12 crores, people lost their jobs, and this trend is going to continue in the coming months too. Around 75% of them were small traders and wage laborers. This data belongs to India only, but the whole world is struggling with unemployment today. Although there is an issue of job cuts in every sector, yet in some industries, it has the most significant impact. Before starting our main topic, let's also talk a little about the sectors which have the most problem. It will make it very easy for you to understand our today's topic. So let us know the sectors which have the most problem and will remain for some upcoming months. Sectors top in the lists are, aviation, travel and tourism, automobile industry, hotels and restaurants, newspaper industry, real estate, malls and shopping complexes, cinema halls, retail sectors, organized and unorganized, cement and steel sector, manufacturing units, events sectors, now the question arises that do all recession only bring ruin and destruction? Whenever there is a recession, slowdown, or depression in the world, it always affects the traditional business. But we must remember that these types of recession have given the world substantial and renowned companies, who dared to think differently according to the time and changed the world today. Companies such as General Electric General Motors, IBM, Disney, HP, FedEx, Microsoft, Airbnb, Uber, Burger King. It is just a few names, while the list is quite significant. Now the question arises that if these companies can do it, why can't you? So let's know which are those businesses which can do quite well in the coming time. So let's start with the video. First sector is on our list is e-learning, which is also known as online learning. According to researchandmarkets.com, online education market in India will be expected to worth INR 360 billion by 2024, it is 43% year-on-year CAGR growth. Let's talk about some facts. According to Coursera Research, out of 18 million, 1.3 million registered learners are from India. India is the third largest market for online learning after the United States and China. Online registration in India has increased by 70% in just the last 12 months. Now the question arises that how can we start e-learning business? So let's start with the basics. First, you must have excellent knowledge in any particular subject. Second, passion for teaching. Here we will talk about different online teaching mediums and platforms, where you have to decide which medium will be suitable for you. The first learning platform is on our list is Sell you courses on education aggregator platforms like Udemy. You can say that this is the Amazon of online learning, where you get a large customer base, and you do not need to focus on your marketing. You just have to create your account and upload the course, as you will become famous and people will like your session, you can easily earn more money. But there is a limitation, Udemy is renowned for professional courses, and if you want to teach hobby courses or part-time courses, 
then Udemy will not be that good for you. Launch your courses on own website or mobile application. You can create your own website and app and provide your exclusive content. For example, Baijus. But here is also one limitation, you have to spend a lot of money on your marketing, but your valuation and earning also multiply with time. This option depends on your pocket and growth appetite. Launch your YouTube channel. YouTube can be an excellent medium for earning if your content is interesting, then you can make a reasonable sum of money from YouTube advertisements. Once your channel becomes famous, you can also charge subscription fees from your subscriber, and your earning increases even more. You can also divert your subscribers to your paid apps and website and multiply your earnings. Making videos on YouTube is free, and it is the best medium for people who can not spend money, but they have a lot to teach people. Our next solution to start your blogs. Many of us are afraid to face the camera, but they can write well in any language, so that blogging can be a great source of income for those people. Some of you may ask, what is blogging? So the blog is a discussion or informational website published on the internet. You can write your content in any language and can earn good money through advertising, and when your blog becomes famous, you can also charge users for a premium subscription. And you can tie up with many brands to promote their products on your blog, and charge a very good fee from them. Our next model is content writing, there are still many people who do not want to make videos and cannot even manage blogs. Content writing can be a good source of earning for those people. You can write content for other classes or e-learning companies, and they will pay you according to your work. As your experience increases and you start producing better content, you can charge very good fees. I have many friends who cost 7 to 10 rupees or 10 cents per word. You can easily understand if you have written a good content of 2,000 words, then you can easily earn 10,000 to 15,000 rupees equal to $100 to $200. Your earning is depend on you how much content you want to write in a month. You can start content writing business in zero investment. Our next model is to start virtual classroom. In this method, you can run online classes with the help of Zoom, Skype, or Google Meet, and can teach many students simultaneously, even if the student is from any corner of the world. But this medium has his own limitation, you have to come online at a particular time every day, and your students have to follow that schedule consciously. Now let's discuss the benefits of e-learning business. First benefit. You do not have to spend on a big classroom setup. Second benefit. You have to write or record your course once, and it will work until the syllabus is changed. Third benefit. Business scalability, you can sell a single course to many people. Fourth benefit. Less investment. How much investment you need to start this business. Typically you can start it from as low as zero. It also depends on the medium you choose to begin with. Before moving to our next business model please like, share and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family members. Now let's move to our second booming business in the list which is e-commerce. According to researchandmarkets.com, e-commerce market in India will be expected to grow at 41% year-on-year CAGR growth. Online sales in the US increased by 74% in the first quarter of 2020. Walmart's e-commerce growth alone is seeing a magnificent growth of 24%. Why is this happening? You probably know the answers. People feel safe by shopping over e-commerce shops more than ever. At first, they were confused but the days went by, they are getting familiar with the online shopping process. You must witness the same in India and other countries as well. As internet penetration in India will increase, this growth will increase even more. Now the question arises that how can we take advantage of this? There are different ways to take benefit from e-commerce era. Our first model is to take benefit from e-commerce era, is to list your products in established marketplace. Today there are many e-commerce bulls like Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, where you can start earning by listing your products. 
Listing on such a platform will not require you to find a customer, but the competition on these platforms is also very high, so the price, review, and profile image of your product plays a significant role. Working with a big marketplace like Amazon has its own advantages and disadvantages. Your biggest advantage is that you will not have to go out to find a customer, and you will not have to pay attention to the marketing of the product. But if your product has high competition or demand is low, then it will affect your profit. You also will have to bear the delivery charge, product return, product damage, packaging, and Amazon's listing fees. But despite all this, it is a great business model, and people also earn handsome money. Now let's move to next e-commerce model which is, start your own e-commerce store. Many of us want to create their own brand, and they want to sell the product on their own platform instead of a different marketplace. But they can't spend money like these big e-com players. It's not a big problem, you can start small and start taking orders for the local area by creating your own e-commerce website and app. As the business grows gradually, you can expand the delivery areas. It can be an excellent scalable business strategy. Now people will ask that it is not so easy to open an e-commerce store, much technical knowledge, resource and money is required. But it is not so. In today's time, creating an e-commerce website is not a big deal, you can open an e-commerce store with the help of Shopify or WooCommerce without any technical knowledge, and that too in very little investment. Let's know what are the advantages of this model. When you run your e-commerce store, you decide the rate, and the business control is also with you. So obviously, you also determine your own profit. Now the small problem of this business is that you have to do your marketing yourself, and customers also have to find themselves. Next e-commerce model in our bucket is drop shipping model. If I explain drop shipping in simple language, you do not have to store any kind of inventory with you. Instead, when a store sells a product using the drop shipping model, it purchases the item from a third party and has it shipped directly to the customer. As a result, the seller doesn't have to handle the product directly. The most significant difference between drop shipping and the standard retail model is, the selling merchant doesn't stock or own inventory. Instead, the seller purchases inventory as needed. Now the question arises that how can we start drop shipping? In today's time, many e-commerce platform providers offer you simply plug and play e-commerce platforms, and most famous are Shopify and WooCommerce. It is effortless to use these platforms and used by the maximum small e-commerce players of the world. With this platform and the right niche marketing strategy, you can reach and sell your product to the potential buyers of any country in the world. Now let's discuss the benefits of drop shipping. Less capital required. Easy to get started. Low overhead. Flexible location. Wide selection of product to sell. Easier to test and scale. We should also discuss the disadvantage of drop shipping. Inventory issue. If you stock all your products, it's relatively simple to track which items are in and out of stock. But when you're sourcing from multiple warehouses, which are also fulfilling orders for other merchants, inventory changes daily. Fortunately, these days, there are a handful of apps that let you sync with suppliers. Supplier errors. Have you ever been blamed for something that wasn't your fault, but you have to accept responsibility for the mistake anyway? Even the best dropshipping suppliers make mistakes fulfilling orders. Our next e-commerce business model is to start your own private level. In simple language, a private level means your own brand. This is an excellent opportunity for those who want to launch their own brand. You can do whatever you are good at, whether it is in fashion or spices or anything else. You can launch your private level products on sites like Amazon or Flipkart or on your own e-commerce stores like Shopify. In private level brands, you get a chance to create your own identity and take your business to any scale. Now let's talk about a few advantages of private level brands. Exclusivity. Strong customer recognition. Customer loyalty. 
product and packaging tailored to meet retailers' requirements. More control over pricing, marketing, sales, and distribution. More profitability. Virtual monopoly. Brand value. Harder for the competition to match the specification and price of the product. All the business models have some disadvantages, so now let's talk about them. First is, minimum order. Minimum orders is one of the basic requirements of most manufacturers when you ask them to produce customized products for you, which is suitable for private labeling. Most of the time, this minimum order is such a large quantity that you would not order otherwise. Second is, dead inventory. Sometimes retailers make a wrong choice of products even before knowing whether their customers will like it or not. This can leave you in lousy water as you would have inventory which is difficult to sell. Third is, customer perception. People find it challenging to trust private labeled brands. They have trusted the branded products for a long time, and they believe that private labeled products are of lesser quality than branded products. Therefore, you should perform thorough research on your customers before investing in private labeled products. Next medium to get benefited from e-commerce business is affiliate marketing. If you don't want to sell any product personally, and still wish to earn money from e-commerce business, then affiliate business will be a perfect medium for you. In this business model, you will have to write a review of different products and put them on your website with product affiliate links. Whenever someone reads your blog and clicks on the link given by you and buys that product, you will get some commission from the sale of that product. Many websites earn a lot of money from this business model. If you want, you can review the product on YouTube as well and sell products via affiliate links. How much investment you need to start this business? Typically you can start it from as low as 25,000 rupees or $350, it also depends on the medium you choose to begin with. For example, if you decide to start with YouTube, then your cost will be zero, and the same goes for blogs as well. Before moving to our next business model please like, share, and subscribe. Now it's time to move to the third sector is in our list which is, cloud kitchen or e-kitchen. Food is essential for all living beings, be it humans, animals, or plants themselves, we can change our food taste, but can't replace the food with any other item, and it will always be at the top of our priority. The most we have missed in this lockdown is the tasty food, many people have used or tried using food delivery services in lockdown, and even after the completion of corona, people will ignore visiting malls or restaurant. Still, they can ask for tasty food at home. You may now ask, what is a cloud kitchen? Cloud kitchens, sometimes called ghost kitchens or virtual restaurants, are designed exclusively for online ordering and delivery. According to EconomicTimes.com, food tech in India will be expected to grow at 25% year-on-year CAGR growth. Let's talk about some facts. According to Statist Research, Indians are at third position for ordering food online after China and the United States. Now the question arises that how can we establish ourselves in this sector? So let's start with the basics. First basic requiry met you must have a passion for cooking. Second basic requiry met, you have to work under the timeline. Let's discuss the different ways to take benefit from the food tech business. Our first model is to start your own kitchen and sell your food through big food aggregator companies. You can start your own kitchen, no matter whether you do it from home, or from a small shop. To sell your food, you can tie up with pre-establishing aggregators like Zomato, Swiggy, and Uber Eat, etc. You can also tie up in your local offices as per their food requirements. There is a lot of benefit in starting this business from home, as you do not have to spend on expensive setup, and you also feel comfortable working from your home. The next solution to get benefited from Cloud Kitchen is to sell through your own website and mobile application. As we have discussed earlier, how easy it is to create a website and app today. There are many benefits to selling your product on your website and app. Let's discuss it one by one. 
Brand recall value. You don't have to pay high commission to food aggregators like Zomato and Swiggy. High margin. Less competition. It is a perfect opportunity for those people who want to cater to niche audiences, like the keto diet. What if you can't work under deadline and don't want to indulge yourself in day-to-day -day operations, then YouTube will be a perfect fit for you. You can put a video of your recipe on YouTube and earn money through ads, and there is no investment in this medium. All you need is a camera phone and the internet. On YouTube, many chefs earn quite well, and you can be one of them soon. Benefits of YouTube channel, no age limit. No investment. No need for physical setup. No work pressure. The disadvantage of YouTube channels. Highly competitive. You need to have the patience to become famous. What if you don't want to run a physical kitchen and even don't want to make any video then food blogging can be the perfect option for you. You can share your recipes on your websites, review other cafe and food items, and earn good money through Google AdSense. Once you became famous, you will also be get paid for food and cafe reviews. What if you don't want to run a physical kitchen, and even don't want to make any video or blog, and still want to earn good profit from it? Then you can choose the right food tech company listed in the stock market and start buying a small number of shares every month. Few tips, in addition to the food taste, food image, packaging, serving style, and pricing also play a vital role in this business. The impact of cloud kitchens. In a recent report, LimeTray found that 67% of restaurants prefer opening a cloud kitchen, over a dine-in restaurant as their next outlet. Benefits of Cloud Kitchen First benefit, improve operational efficiency. Second benefit, help scale and growth. Restaurants can leverage the scale of cloud kitchens to test new geographies and consumer adoption without investing in expensive real estate. Third benefit, lower infrastructure costs. Fourth benefit, manage a more efficient labor force. Fifth benefit, offer competitive menu prices. Cloud kitchens can invest the majority of their financial resources into creating delicious dishes, testing new menu items, and expanding their digital footprint. They can price menus more reasonably, as they don't need to generate additional revenue to cover the investment in other business areas. Let's discuss the limitations of cloud kitchen. First limitation, online-only visibility. Since it's an online-only venture with limited customer interaction, Cloud kitchens might find it challenging to build their brand at first. Second limitation, dependence on technology. Third limitation, high competition. How much investment you need to start this business. Typically you can start it from as low as zero investment if you choose YouTube business model else, it usually costs maximum 15,000 rupees or $200 if you starts from home based cloud kitchen, it also depends on the medium you wish to start with. If you have any doubts or questions regarding the cloud kitchen business, you can ask it in the comment box. We could not put all the business ideas in a single video, else the video gets too long, then for that, we are bringing the rest of our business idea in the second part, which will come in 5 to 6 days. If you like this video, then please like, Share and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family members.